Hello friends, this is Neha. Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss some previous previous year questions on John Teller distortion. Uh, so let's start with the topic. So this question was asked in uh, December 2013 that these two compounds, uh, these two copper compounds, they they are exhibiting uh, and both of them, if you see, are being in the plus two oxidation state. They are saying that. Um, they, they exhibit a tetragonal elongation and tetragonal compression respectively, the unpaired electron in A and B are. So the thing is that what they are saying, in A, uh, there is a tetragonal elongation and in B, there is a tetragonal compression. Now if you remember from the last video, in case of tetragonal elongation, the, the condition is what this condition is Z out condition and for Z out condition, how we feel electron? For Z out condition, it occurs actually when D Z square is going, when D Z square actually has got more electron density. So the thing is that D Z square is going to have uh, the paired electrons and the unpaired electron in case of A where the elongation is taking place, the unpaired electron is going to be in D X square minus Y square orbital. But what, uh, so the B, B is ex uh, uh, exhibiting tetragonal compression and for the compression to take place, for compression to take place, we know that d x square minus y square should have more electron density. So the unpaired electron is going to be in d z square orbital. So the option is going to be d x square minus y square for a and d z square for b. So the unpaired electron is going to be this and this for a and b complexes. Then the next question is, uh, the next question is from gate 2009 and it says uh, the correct statement about Cu and bonds, uh, bond distances in uh, the copper ammonia complex when the when, when it is being in the plus 2 state. So the thing is that copper when it is being in the plus 2 state it is going to have what uh, which configuration obviously it is uh, the, uh, the electronic configuration uh, the number of electrons in d orbital is going to be 9. So for d9 D9 we know um, in most of the cases what exactly happened means actually the thing is that from D6 to D9 we actually can't predict uh, that whether a Z in situation is going to occur or Z out situation going, going to occur but in most of the cases for D9 uh, it has been seen that the Z out uh, condition that is the elongation actually takes place in most of the condition and remember one more point for high spin D6 complexes we, uh, we always get tetragonal compression actually so remember keep these points in mind. So as I said for D9 in most of the cases we, we see a tetragonal elongation occurring and elongation is what when the when the, the, uh, the or the actual bonds are longer and the equivalent bonds they become shorter. So I think the options are saying like all bonds distances are equal so this is not possible. The actual bonds are longer and the, than the equivalent bonds so this is going to be the correct option and this is how the question is to be solved on the basis of JTD. Next is which of the following shows disproportionation reaction? So we have even we have uh, in the consequences of JTD we have discussed this point. Now if you see the complexes given are this AU is being in the plus two state. The AU is being in the plus two state and we know that it it exhibits JTD being in the plus two state. And it is going to have D nine electrons, so it it must exhibit JTD. And uh, this nickel is being in the plus two state. Nickel being in plus two state is going to have D8 electron. So for D8 electron, so D8 means the arrangement is going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. Now, if you check, this is a symmetrical arrangement of electron. So, actually, in uh, in this particular complex, uh, there is no JTD. Then, in Cu2 plus, we know that copper in non chelated so when copper is being in the plus two state and it forms a non chelated complex, it is very the complex are very stable due to Jandela distortion. So, if it is stable, why it will exhibit the disproportionation? And then, if you see this uh, here in this case this au uh, it, this is actually is being in the plus one state and au4 plus one state is a stable state uh, if, if you uh, if you remember uh, i have told you this in consequences of jtd so among all these things uh, this au2 which is very very unstable um, is going to exhibit a JTD uh, and uh, hence it will uh, uh, it will exhibit a dis disproportionation reaction. It will either get oxidized into uh, AU plus three and or uh, it will get oxid uh, or it will get reduced in AU plus one. So obviously, 
this is going to be the correct answer next in net uh, december 2015 uh, the correct statement for uh, mno bonds in in mnh2 6 two pluses now always remember when such kind of questions are asked where the options are like all bonds are equal actual bonds are uh, um, longer and equitable bonds are smaller always check in such question always check whether a jtd is taking place in them or not so the thing is that this mn if you see it is being in the plus 2 state now mn when it is being in the plus 2 state it will have which configuration it will have d5 configuration so in d5 configuration if you see and uh, h2o means a high spin complex so 1 2 3 4 and 5 if you see this this is a symmetrical arrangement this is a symmetrical arrangement of electrons uh, even in t2 gen eg so there is no jantella distortion taking place so no jantella distortions it means it is going to be a regular octahedral complex and in case of regular octahedral complex all the six distances between metal and ligand are same as i have told you so undoubtedly option a is going to be a correct option because all the in you know, all the other uh three options are the anomalies are given so obviously option a is going to be a correct option next in june 2014 this question was asked identify the correct statement about nickel in the plus 2 oxidation state and copper in the plus 2 oxidation state now we have just now seen that nickel in plus 2 oxidation state that d8 there is a symmetrical arrangement of electrons so they it is not going to exhibit any jantella distortion uh so if it if it is not exhibiting jantella distortion all the six bonds are equal and then in uh, copper being in the plus 2 state it is d9 so obviously it will exhibit jtd and um, and um, and as i said in most of the cases it is elongation and you know elongation means actual bonds are longer and equatorial bonds are uh, shorter so let us check if any of the options states so uh, so first option is like in all the bonds are equal so it is not possible because here in this case all bonds are equal but in this case all bonds are not equal so uh, even this is not possible because in and uh, this nickel complex all bonds are equal then in, if you see option number c it says all nio bonds lengths are equal but in case of cuo the equatorial bonds are shorter than uh, actual bonds so this is a very correct statement so option c is going to be a correct option then there is one more very interesting question that was asked in uh, 2017 and it was um, it was um, like it, it was based on different different concepts but one of the concept involved was jtd so i'll take that question okay so in this particular question uh, the it was asked in 2017 and uh, the question is consider the following statements for octahedral complexes all of them are chromium complex and here the chromium is being in the plus 3 state here it is being in uh, here also it is going to be in plus 3 state and here also it is in plus 3 state so they are asking which of the uh, for which of these four statements are true for all three of them so the thing is that if you read this statement the first statement is like uh, all of them they show dd transition all of them have got same magnetic moment all of them uh, uh, like two of them exhibit the optical isomerism and the last statement is our point of uh, uh, concern that is all show john taylor distortion now let us check if they uh, if all of them are exhibiting john taylor distortion or not so the thing is that this is uh, pr plus 3 means this is what this is a, a d3 configuration if you see this is d3 this is also d3 and this is also d3 correct so the thing is that for d3 if we check 1 2 and 3 that's the only possible arrangement right so if you see uh, this is a symmetrical arrangement of electron in the t2g orbitals so symmetrical arrangement of electrons means no john taylor distortion so this statement is actually a wrong statement that all show jtd so if if any of the options contains this d statement we have to cut them so the if you see this b statement contains uh, the d so the b option contains d statement it should be cut this is also cut this is also so the thing is that only option that remains that is without d is option number a and that was the correct option and if you see that we also it shows dd transition the thing is that we know uh, for uh, the complex is involving mn2 plus so the for the for complexes in which the metal ion has got a d5 configuration they actually show spin forbidden uh, type of transition so the thing these are d3 they can uh, show um, dd transition then uh, the spin only magnetic moments are same the spin only magnetic moments they actually depend on the number of unpaired electron the number of unpaired electrons in all three of them is 3 so obviously they are going to have same uh, magnetic moments and uh, last uh, the third one is two of them have optical isomers this is not going to exhibit any optical iso isomers 
because all six of them are same but undoubtedly these uh, two complex in, uh, complexes in which, in which the bidentate ligands are there they can exhibit the optical isomers so obviously the three statements are correct and option a is going to be the correct option so yeah that's all for this video and we have discussed the all types of uh, previous questions on Jantella distortion if you would have liked the video like share comment subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you